Okay, so Yushiro's combos are always going to follow about the same flowchart, but basic BNB combo is a few hits into your debilitating blow, dash up for free, full attack string, single hit into your standing special, and for some reason that dropped. Okay, so Yushiro's combos are all going to follow a similar flowchart, but a simple BNB combo is a few hits into debilitating blow, dash up for free, and then just do one hit into your standing special, and then go for a grab as a reset. It falls to the ground, and it's honestly pretty hard to avoid this grab, and it works pretty consistently. So 30% damage, and this grab gives you a hard knockdown to build back some meter. 30% damage costs you basically nothing. It's pretty awesome. Now I can use Lady Tamio as alternate ways of ending the combo, as such... And then you can get a really guaranteed reset off of Lady Tamayo there, thanks to her unblockable. That's practically unavoidable unless you use an ultimate. And you can also use Lady Tamayo as a combo ender. Go for reset into a grab, then you get a bunch of potential poison damage into a grab reset. And even just that simple combo there with 60% of the opponent's life cost me basically nothing except for one Tamayo. And the hard knockdown for the grab gives me a bit of time anyways, so that's pretty awesome. Now all of Yushiro's combos are going to follow a similar spreadsheet, just depending on what kind of hits you get. So off of this, you don't have much time and to do much else, so I just recommend doing a few attacks. Then maybe using a Tamayo reset, whether you go for the unblockable or the restand. And off of a raw debilitating blow, you have a little bit more time, so you can do a few, a few more attacks. And then go for your resets all over again. And off of your debilitating blow parry, you can actually get a full attack string into your special one. Which is the highest base damage Yushiro can get from a simple thing. 3200 damage on Sabuto into the grab is about half of his life, which is really amazing. And because all of these combos are resets, you can easily go into an ultimate at the end of any of them. It's very easy because it's practically impossible to avoid this ultimate at the end. It's You don't have to time it or anything, it just goes into super easily, so that's very beneficial. Off of any red attacks, he doesn't really have any time to get any kind of damage or even any substantial resets, so I recommend you just use red combos like his uh, dive kick or an armor attack just to take a hard knockdown and then build back a bunch of meters so that you can go more crazy with your combos and your debilitating glow parries and stuff in the future. Thank <laughs> you.